Dan with MTG here and I have my Dominaria bundle and I'm hoping to get a better recording than I did of the rivals of Vixelong because that recording just didn't work and so that's why I didn't post it. I did get a bundle and I don't remember what was in it or maybe I did post it. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've bought in a bundle. It feels like even though it was just last set. I still can't open them apparently. Ugh! This is embarrassingly awkward. Ha! Ah, there we go. Okay. I'm not completely useless. Just mostly useless. Okay, as usual with all bundle, we get boxes, binder things. Oh, it's bent on the corner. That might have been my bad. Boxes, binder things, other boxes, poster. And this one is... There we go. Uh, uh. <gasps> I ripped it. Oh, no. That's okay. All right, there we go. That should be able to come off with the sticky, so it won't ruin my poster. Poster. Just ruin. There we go. Whew. That was a close call because that would have been super bad sad about that. All right, box, tin packs, all the lands, white dye today. So that's cool. Okay, but let's do, let's do the thing. We don't care about this one and we don't care about, where did it go? Usually there's another pack thing in here. Guess not this time. All right, I don't really care about anything else. We just want to see what goodness is in here. Let's do this. Okay. Bloodstone Goblin, Invoke the Divine, Opt, Gitor, Journey Mage, Pierce the Sky, Rat Colony, Short Sword, Bless Light, Keldon Overseer, Academy, a Journey Mage, In Bolus's Clutches, Sanctum Spirit, Sage of Lanam, and the rare is Squee! I am going to squee with joy. Because Squee the Mortal is so cool. Uh, red, three mana, one colorless, and two red for a 2-1. You can cast it from your graveyard or from exile. So that's super cool. And it's a swamp and a sapperling token. So that's sweet. It's Squee. No, I think that one's pushing it a little bit. All right, I take that last one back. Pretend like you just didn't hear that one. All right. Healing Grace, a Relic Runner, Warlord's Fury, Charge, Gaia's Protector, Dark Bargain, Vicious Offering, Tragic Poet, Academy Journey Mage, Bayloth Gorger, Fight with Fire, absolutely adore this art, and the rare is Final Parting, 5 mana, 3 of any color, and 2 black for a sorcery, search your library for 2 cards, put 1 into your hand, and oh this isn't the rare, this is just the... Uh, how did I mess up so bad that I got... Because Journey Mage is not... Okay, let's just put that out of there. Final Partning Seal away. Oh, look, here's the rare. Got it right this time. Kazuro saying your pure blood. Seven mana, five of any color, and two black. Same color, though. A legendary flying vampire. Whenever a creature in opponent controls is dealt damage, put a plus one plus one counter on him. And you can pay four mana to deal two damage to target creature. It's four, four, and an island, and a night token. So, so far, two legendaries are red. All right. Let's go to pack number three. Two of our rares are legendary. That's what I meant. In my head, it made more sense. In my head, a lot of things make sense, but usually they don't actually make sense. Sergeant at Arms, Coldwater Snapper, Bloodstone Goblin, Excavation Elephant, Dark Bargain, Landware Scout, Academy Journey Mage, Not Ignore Common, Tragic Poet, Vicious Offering. Uh, that wall one, that one wall. Memorial to War. Oath of Teferi is a rare. Five mana, three of any color, and a white and a blue for a legendary enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, exile another target permanent you control and returns to the battlefield under its owner's hand at the beginning of the next step. You may activate the loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers you control twice each turn rather than once. For the lost and forgotten, I will keep watch. So, the fairies join the party. Oh, pretty shiny. 
Kamali's Druid Bell, X and two green for a legendary sorcery. Um, look at the top X cards of your library. You may put any number of land and or legendary permanent cards with converted cost mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield, and then you put the rest in the graveyard. That is pretty cool. And I'm super confused. Is this like a flip card? Is this just pack is in the wrong order? Or is this just like for the lols? Yargles always go at the back for for the lols. All right, we're gonna go with that. It's for the lols. It's for the yargles. All right, dub Sir Yargle. Uh, Relic Runner, Fire Elemental, Charge, Corrosive O's, Divination, Mesa Unicorn, Ugh. Asher Glider, Rampaging Cyclops, Triumph of Gerard, Saga, Deafening Sphere, Sweet, Zelfrin Void, Memorial to War, Foil, I'm so confused at the ordering of this because usually foils are after, and Joda Archmage Eternal is our rare, and we got a Cabal Cleric token. Uh, four mana, one and Jeskai colors, flying, four, three, wizard. You could pay all the colors rather than play the mana cost for spells you cast. So that's cool. Just put that over there. I'm just really confused at how we got a foil before we got our rare. Is this just like something they're doing special? Are they just, are these just packs that are confused? I'm... I'm confused. This is throwing me off a little bit. All right, Sergeant at Arms, the Fuddle, that's me right now. Arbor Armament, Stronghold Confessor, Jousting Lance, Run Amok, Blink of an Eye, uh, Death Bloom Salad, Blood Tallow Candle, Dauntless Bodyguard, Goblin Orgy, Orcish Vandal, Night. Okay, look at this again. Foils before the rare, but at least I knew which one's the rare. So Knight of Nubilania is our foil, and Tashar, Ancestors, Apostle, 4 mana, 2-2, two, two, flying, whenever you cast a heroic spell, return target creature with converted mana cost 3 or less from a greater part to the battlefield, Mountain, and a Sapperling token. Alright, how many packs do we have left? We have 5. 5 packs left, so that means we've done 5 packs. So is this the new ordering? We put the foils before the rares? It's, it's really... You threw off my Groove Wizards. You have thrown off the Emperor's Groove. I absolutely love that movie. It is my favorite movie. Sarah Disciple, Solarian Scholar, Radiating Lightning, Corsoran Druid, Rat Colony, Unwind, Death Bloom Salad, Shivan Fire, Sparring Construct, Gideon's Reports, Amethyte Wall, Seal Away, The Antiquity Wars. Okay, is this our actual rare? I guess so. Okay, three mana and a blue for an enchantment saga. Look at the type 5 cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact from among them and put the rest into your hand. Oh, no. You can put the artifact into your hand. The rest go in the bottom. That's for stories 1 and 2. Uh, for the floor counter number 3, artifacts you control become artifact creatures with peace power and toughness by 5 until end of turn. I am... I'm so thrown off. Are they just putting legendaries at the back? Uh, but then that... Ah... Uh, I'm super confused at this sword ordering system because I don't understand it and I'm just going to just pretend like I have any idea. But I am excited about this card. Garna the Blood Flame, 5 mana, 3 of any color, a black and a red for a 3-3 three, three with flash. And when it enters the battlefield, return all creatures in your graveyard that were put anywhere this turn to your hand. And other creatures you control have haste. So that's super cool. Plus it's like right up my alley. The, what's it called? The aggro style. There we go. I don't even know what I'm saying today. I'm so, I'm so confused over this pack opening. All right. Helmet Explorer, Gitu, Lava Mancer, Sarah Disciple, Wind Grace, Acolyte, Arbor Armament, Fiery Intervention, Blood Tal Candle, Demonic Vigor, Call the Calvary, Ancient Animus, Champion of the Flame, Orcish Vandal, Oath of Teferi is our rare again. And then we got a Yargle. Okay, so I'm thinking the Argoing with the legendaries are in the back this time. That would make sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense since I'm so accustomed to the other ordering scheme, but at least that seems consistent. Probably. All right. 
Sarah Disciple, Homeward Explorer, Kachu Lava Mansard, Admin Will, Rat Colony, Corbosa O Ooze. Why did I want to say O's? Corbo probably because of that. Okay. Keldon Overseer, Academy Journey Mage, Tragic Poet, Vicious Offering, Goblin War Chief, Spore Crown Dalliad, Siege Gang Commander, all the goblins. Slamfoot Stowaway! Oh, Siege Gang Commander is the rare. I did not realize that because it was in a different order. We'll try it. Siege Gang Commander, 5 mana, 3 of any color, and 2 red for Goblin. And when it enters the battlefield, you get 3 1 1 red Goblin tokens into 2 2, and you can pay 2 and sack a Goblin, and Siege Gang Commander deals 3, nope, 2 to any damn, to any target. And Slamfoot! That's exciting. I'll put that in this pile because I was kind of excited for it. I probably should just put. No, okay. That goes over there because it's not a rare or a foil. I'm that is how we how we do things. All right. <sighs> Can't get over how confusing these packs are. Bloodstone Goblin, Excavation Elephant, Artificer's Assistant, Keldon Warcaller, Dark Bargain, Crusade Druid, Academy Journey Mage, Bailoth Gorger, Guardians of Col Col Colios, Keldon Raider, Memorial to Unity, Shield of Realm. Okay, maybe our rare. It is our rare. Isolated Chapel. Yes, I mean. All the lands, all the lands. Taps for white or black, and it is a fast land. I don't know. It checks to see if you have one. But we also got a legendary creature, Bard Stewart of Arkhill. Human soldier, four mana, two four, vigilance. Creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers unless their controller pays one for each of those creatures. So that's cool. So your token and a mountain. Put that in the confusing pile. Okay, last pack. This one's gonna have Jaya Ballard in it. I am confident. Well, okay, no, I'm so confused. I'm still confused. I don't even know what my life is anymore. I'm putting uncommon legendary at the back. All right, Healing Grace. <coughs> Deep Freeze, a Fervent Strike, a Druid Sentinel, Drudge Sentinel, that's different than Druid. Mammoth Spider, Paradic Wanderer, Sapperling Migration, Jousting Lance, Run Amok, Blink of an Eye, or All the Eyes, Icy Manipulator, Memorial to War, Here is our Rare, Rite of Beds, Bells and Mock, 4 mana, 2 of any color, and 2 black, 1 and 2, you get to create 201 black creature tokens, and Three is create a 6-6 six, six demon creature token with flying and trample. And at the beginning of your umpa keep, sacrifice another creature. If you can't, this creature deals six damage to you. And, oh, sweet. He looked like a cool guy. Val the Keeper of the Flame. Human Shaman 3-2. Beginning of combat on your turn for each artifact, aurora, or equipment attached to him. You get to create a 3-1 elemental token. And it has trample and haste. And then they get exiled at the end of the Island and night. All right, that's not a rare though. All right, so we got some sweet rares. Okay, that's not a rare either. That's a, oh, I'm so, okay. We got those, we got some of these. That's a shiny, there's Joda. But we wanted Jaya, but you know, sometimes we got the Evening Spear, so that's cool. Another foil, another oath, that guy, and a squeeze. So, I'm still confuddled over those pack openings, but I think I figured it out. Rare, and then Legends. That sounds right. Okay, well, this has been a delightful bundle. I'm super excited about Squee. I am just squealing with joy. It's so exciting, plus he's a great goblin. That's the best. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below how you're doing with Dominaria, what awesomeness you've opened. Uh, like this video and subscribe for more. Mm -hmm.